Hello everybody, I'm Nick and in this video I'm going to introduce you to a C-sharp keyboard that you probably have never seen before and that is because the scope in which it is usable is pretty limited and also if you use it, you have to be very very careful. So if you do use it already, stay tuned because this will be very very interesting for you. If you like that of content and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell and for more training, check out nickchapsas.com. Now before I move on, I want to let you know that I'm running a massive Black Friday discount until the 28th of November on my website nickchapsas.com where you can find all of my full length courses. Until then, you can use discount code BF2022 and get 25% off any of my individual courses or 15% off any of the already discounted bundles. So don't miss this opportunity and grab one of those courses where I go very in-depth and I show you best real-world practices on any of the topics I'm covering. All right, so let me show you what I have here. So I'm working on a simple console application. It doesn't really have anything in it. And before I show you the actual keyword, I want to take a step back and explain a few things you might not fully understand when it comes to link. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and create a new record and this will be a person record and it's going to have two properties a full name and a date of birth here we go and then just to show you the features i'm going to create a new array over here the one we're going to operate on it's going to be a people array and it's going to have three people first me then my cousin and then my brother so we have three people over here now let's say i want to get a subset of this array which only contains people who can legally drink in the us so 21 years old and higher and I want to order that in descending order based on the date of birth. I would obviously go ahead and use link and I would do something like this. Can drink equals people. And actually I should change this to be people. And I can say where he, and I can say that daytime now dot year minus date of birth dot year is more than 21 to get if they can actually drink. And then I can say order by descending and I want to do it by their age. So I'm going to use the same calculation here, P and then this lambda over here and then if i want i can enumerate and get back now this is one of the ways i can do this with link but many of you know that link has this other syntax as well where i can say can drink two equals and i can say from p in people where you have this inline sql like sort of link syntax and I can use the same technique so I can say where daytime now dot year minus the year of the date of birth is bigger than 21 then order by that same calculation over here and I want that to be descending and in the end to select that I can say select p and this will return the exact same thing now before I move on I want to make it super clear that these two things as they are right now are effectively exactly the same. If I was to grab this code and see how it is translated by the compiler through the lowering process, I would actually see that it is exactly the same. So this is what will be generated from the classic extension based link approach. And this is what will be generated by the other one. And the reason for that is because on high level translation, and I can actually show you on the IL viewer of Rider over here, if I compile, you will see that on the high level C sharp level, both of those things, both the first one and the second one are translated into the exact same C sharp. It's the C sharp you see over here. These are my two things. And you can actually see that the extension methods have also been converted into static invocations, which is what they really are. So as this stands right now, this is the exact same code, just twice. However, many of you might say, oh, Nick, I don't like that you have to do this calculation twice over here. What if this calculation is expensive? Wouldn't it be nice to have a variable and carry it over? But having a variable in link can be very tricky, but it is possible. I can go ahead and say, can drink three, and I can say the exact same thing. So from P in people, but now I can use the let keyword, which you might have seen in other programming languages, it's a very common keyword that many languages use, and it has some special properties attached to it. So now I can say let age equals, and I can use this same calculation, but now basically assign it to a variable. And now I can go ahead and use that in subsequent statements. So if I was to take the exact same remaining of my query, I can now replace this calculation and this calculation with this age parameter. And now at first glance, this makes it better for a few reasons. First, the calculation is now only done 
once, so you would think this would be a bit faster. And of course, in more um, heavy calculations, this will be significantly faster and should be. And then you have the same keyword and it reads better because you give context to what you're doing here. It is the age of the person. Now, here's where this becomes very, very tricky. However, I'm going to go ahead and compile this. I'm going to bring the IL viewer again. And you can see that now we have a bit more elaborate lowering here. We have this select on top level, then some lambdas here, some things. I'm not going to focus on the high level C sharp lowering. I'm going to go to the low level C sharp lowering and show you how nuts this is. Now, this might be a bit harder to visualize everything here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the low level C sharp lowering, beautify it a bit and show you what's going to happen if I introduce the let keyword here. Now, just to recap, this is the code that classic link without let will generate. And this is the code that inline link without let will generate. It's exactly the same thing. This is the code that the version that uses let will generate to do the exact same thing. Now, why is that important? Well, you can see we have a new class over here, this new anonymous type, which also has some equality overload properties and then get hash code and then to string. So quite a few more things happening here. I'm going to go ahead and collapse this just so I can make it more viewable. You can see that the parameters are stored here pointing at fields and they're marked as debugger browser will state never. So this should not be debuggable state. And then if you go down here, we have quite a few more fields that we are effectively caching to be able to return that calculation and that value. And you can see that the age parameter here, the calculation is here, and then the person itself is stored here. So clearly this has to do now more things behind the scenes. And we need to take a look at how performance is affected because the whole benefit of this is I only do the calculation once for trivial things like this, but then when I compare it, I get the benefit of having the context of the item. Now let's go ahead and take all this and put it in a benchmark. So I went ahead and I wrote some benchmarks over here for our test. So as you can see, we have the same three people over here. Then we have the classic link, the old or inline link, and then we have the let link, the exact same code as we had before. The only difference is now I have to enumerate it to something, in this case a list, because I need to be able to see how the performance will be affected. And if I return I enumerable, I enumerable is lazy, it doesn't do any calculations, we wouldn't know how long it takes. So take into account that we're going to have allocations because of this two list and some operation overload, but we should get an idea of how the delta between the two approaches is. So I'm going to go ahead and just comment out everything in the main file. And I'm just going to say benchmark runner dot run benchmarks. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and change this into release mode to generate the most optimal code. And then I'm going to run my benchmarks. And let's see what we get back. So results are back and let's see what we have here. So as you can see, the classic link and the old link are effectively the same. This is within run to run variance. You shouldn't really read into this too much. However, the let link is a bit slower and it's also more inefficient when it comes to memory. We can safely assume that this is because of these new functions that you have now here that need to be allocated on the heap because they're funk objects. So in this scenario, which is a very simplistic and trivial scenario, we don't really gain anything when it comes to performance. In fact, we're losing a bit and we have a very noticeable allocation overhead over here, which can increase with the more fields that you're adding. So you have to keep in mind that if you want to use the let keyword, it will be good to have some measuring in place to see how the non-let version and the let version compare. And in general, you don't really see, or at least I don't really see in modern code, this old way of doing link, which is probably why you don't see the let keyword so much anymore. Everyone just kind of chooses this approach and I can understand why I prefer this approach as well. I think there's only a very limited use case where this inline version can actually produce better code than this and it has to do with groupings and some really complicated stuff. But there's also the argument that if you care about performance, you shouldn't use link anyway. But I thought I would bring it up because it's a very interesting thing and many people say C Sharp should have the let keyword the same way that JavaScript has it. But the reply should be it kind of already does have it. But what do you think? Do you prefer this inline version of link or this extension method based one? Leave a comment down below and let me know and let me know if you actually knew about the let keyword. Well, that's all I had for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Special thanks to my Patreons for making this video possible. If you want to support me as well, you're going to find the link in the description down below. Leave a like if you like this video, subscribe for more content like this and ring the bell as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep coding.